Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. So, um, in the South, girls that are tall and fine are considered stallion. <laughs> so I was like 15 and this older dude is like, damn, what's up mama, you a stallion, whoop de whoop. And I'm like, um, nigga, I am 15. You gonna go to jail, like stop talking to me. <laughs> and I had to go home and I asked my uncle, I was like, what is a stallion? He like, Megan, calm down, that's good. That mean that you tall and fine. I was like, yeah, I am that. So I like went and I changed all my social media name to the stallion. <laughs> and I've just been that ever since. <laughs> Cause I'm a boss In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Megan the Stallion, who was recently height shamed. And I don't think it was just Twitter. I think it's just her being in the industry she gets height shamed a lot for being tall and i was looking at some comments and if you go to the shade room you'll see comments of girls saying that she looks manly she's too tall you'll see a lot of people hating on her for just simply being a taller woman i don't understand why people like to associate height with masculine qualities it's just really weird to me but in a recent tweet she said y'all be thinking y'all insulting me by calling me tall b i've been tall all my life still get any man i want facts sis facts 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 sis i don't understand why people are height shaming her it's really weird Especially when it's other women, it's really weird. I'm assuming that some girls maybe feel, I don't know, like threatened by her just because she's tall and she's confident. Being tall and confident can definitely threaten other women, especially when you're tall and you're confident and you are just a pretty girl and you are seen in a crowd before anybody just because you're already tall. Whereas if you're like average height or shorter, you can kind of get overlooked and your, you know, your tall friend can overshadow you. So I can definitely see that, but I don't see why people would actually like height shame her. It's 2019 people. I can't believe people are actually doing that. But I mean, Megan is tall, but she's a beautiful girl. I don't understand what the problem is. She is feminine. She dresses very girly. I don't see what the issue is. I love the fact that she wears heels being tall when she doesn't have to. And I don't know. I think she just really, she just really represents us taller women very well when it comes to the industry that she's in. And I really like seeing that on TV, on social media. It's very rare that you see a taller woman like in the spotlight. We really don't get that much love, honestly. And it's just really nice seeing that. I saw a comment the other day of a girl commenting under one of my videos and she was saying, Megan really helped me with my confidence in being tall and being a taller woman because I really lacked it before. But by seeing her out there and just being confident the way that she is, it really helps me embrace my height and love myself more. So I was on Twitter minding my business and I came across this tweet from this guy who's married to a taller woman. He said, my wife is six foot one or six foot and a half. I'm not really sure. And the only height wish I've ever had for her was that she had learned to own Revel slash love her height as a kid. So I'm sure he's probably dealing with some insecurities within their marriage as far as her with her height. And I don't know, like, why is it so hard for women to embrace their height? Is it because we are height shamed or we feel like we're more masculine because we're taller? Like, what is the issue with that? I went through a phase where I kind of felt more masculine. Like, I'm just going to be honest. I felt more masculine. I felt awkward just because, I don't know, like, when you're taller, you just don't 
match up well with other people so you are kind of more awkward you stand out more and it's just I don't know it's just weird I don't know who else can relate to this so it's interesting but now I'm at a point in my life where I, I like my height I love my height I wouldn't want to be shorter there were times when I was younger where I, I did wish that I was shorter or at least average or I would wish that I'm my mom's height which I think my mom is like five seven she's still on the taller side but I just wish I was shorter. I did go through a phase like that, but I think in most cases, when it comes to this height situation in women, it's not really the men, it's the other women who shame us for being tall. When it comes to body image, a lot of women need to see a symbol of that. They need to see a symbol of themselves, whether it's in the media, a magazine, on TV, social media. When it comes to your body type, and I preach this all the time on my channel, you need to follow people who have your body type. Stop following women who don't look like you. And it's really nice to see Megan out here and seeing how men drool on her, you know, being tall and all. And, you know, how some people like to associate, you know, masculine qualities or features with height. So it's just nice to see men lust after her and her being tall and her having similar body type, a similar body type to mine and other women, I'm sure. So it's just really, really nice seeing that a lot of her critics give her shit for her name the stallion because it refers to a male horse but the slang term it just means a tall fine woman young woman that is stats and I don't know why people like to take that and try to turn it into something negative but I think she did something positive with maybe an insecurity that she once had growing up with being a taller woman and another thing that I like is that she's tall and she wears all of these colorful wigs, colorful colors. I remember when I went through a phase where I just wanted to wear black. I didn't want to wear no color. I always had to have a bang in my face because I felt like it would hide me from the world when it came to being tall. I went through a lot of different weird phases being a taller woman. And another thing is difficult is when you're growing up in a family and your mom is shorter than you. And so you guys really can't relate when it comes to certain things. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like when it comes to wearing heels, when it comes to buying pants, when it comes to just being confident, because when you are taller, it just seems like you have to have more confidence than more confidence than the average height woman or shorter woman because once again it comes across more feminine to be shorter or average in height so that's weird and interesting but I just love how Megan is just really embracing her height her and then her confidence and she's not like limiting herself with her looks or anything like that she's just on the same level as Cardi B when it comes to switching up her looks and changing up her looks she doesn't just keep it safe before I wrap up this video I also wanted to talk about being tall and curvy because being tall is one thing but being tall and curvy is another thing so what do I mean by being tall and curvy you can be heavier in the bust area you can be heavier in the hips or the buttocks area but in most cases you always find yourself putting your butt or your boobs in men's faces without really trying I don't know if that annoys anyone else as much as it annoys me you don't do it intentionally but it's like an accident just because you're tall they're shorter and it's like you just simply turn around and boom your boobs are in their face or you just simply turn around and boom your butt is in their face isn't it annoying or because you may be tall and you have wider hips, you may even bump into them accidentally. I don't know, like sometimes I find myself to be super clumsy in being tall and curvy just because I'm always bumping into somebody unintentionally. Another thing that I really can't stand is when I'm trying to avoid somebody and I'm out and it's like, I can't hide because I'm tall and I'm like, dang, they probably saw me before I saw them or another issue is when you're being catcalled 
and you literally can't just duck off in the corner somewhere and hide it's like dang like you always have to face people who are trying to talk to you approach you so a lot of times i walk around with you know the resting bitch face to try to scare people off just because i can't hide like when it comes to the shorter or average woman you guys y'all can you know cut off the corner somewhere and be gone and hide us it's like we just we just gotta face we just gotta face the we got to face whoever we have to face at the end of the day. And that could be challenging in itself. I really want your opinion on this. So please comment down below. But this pretty much wraps up this video, you guys. Do you think it was fair that she was height shamed just because she's a woman? Comment down below. I know a lot of the men are going to say, oh, well, men are height shamed all the time for being short. I don't height shame men for being short. Okay. I just don't date you guys because it's just weird to me. It's awkward to me. But I don't talk about your height like that, but comment down below. I would love your opinion on this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload and I'll catch you in my next one.